Vendo. <laughs> uh, 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 are you a ghost? Or something? Do you float? Listen, it's occurred to me that lately I've been unfairly hostile towards you. Oh, like last week when you threw me over the fence for lettering? Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Oh, when you threw and removed my job for chewing too loud? I don't remember that one. I do, vividly. Well, point is, my job is to keep Pixie safe. But I guess sometimes I can be a tad over aggressive. You haven't been in trouble for some time now, so I ought to start treating you better. Well, well, look who's warming up to me. Looks like even Big Bad Brutus can't resist my natural charm. I was just playing. There could be anything in this rock, like a fossil, or a gemstone, or an alien wood that'll give me superpowers. I doubt all of that. But I guess we'll never know since we can't break it open. Hmm? You have a plan to break it open? Yep. And it involves me somehow? Yep. And that's why you invited me over? No. I just like hanging out with you. But by total coincidence, I do have a plan and I do need your help. Uh, this isn't gonna work. It's simple physics. Have a sharp object going super fast equals big destructive power. Or something like that. You sure about this? Am I ever not sure about anything? No, that's the problem. No, drop now! Perfect! <laughs> uh, what are the chances that didn't break anything? Same chances as the rock being full of alien super ooze. Hey Brutus, you are back from your work. That I am. Good work? Good as any, I suppose. Remember when you accidentally whacked my face while wagging your tail yesterday? Oops, sorry. Uh, a little. Why? Well, I forgive you. Oh, I kind of assumed you already did forgive me. I did. And now I'm forgiving you again. Double forgiveness. Because forgiving someone for making a mistake is the right thing to do. What did you do? Are you mad? I would be if I wasn't so curious how you even did this in the first place. And then the mutant chipmunk monster ate them alive! Wait, how the chipmunk turned into a monster? Nuclear radiation? Are you asking? Whatever. Telling scary stories is hard, okay? <laughs> Not that hard. You do want then, Mr. Scary Pants. But the screams were swallowed up by the raging blizzard, hopelessly lost to the cold swelling snow, along with the poor soul they come from. The end. Wasn't even scary. That wasn't a true story, right? Friday night football tonight. The Bears take on the. Could do without the class in my skull. Oh, sorry. Fresh pumpkin. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> the, the pumpkin ate Randall. Huh? Uh, I mean, yes, I ate Randall. For I am a living pumpkin monster. Thanks. Oh no! Oh yes, come close a little kitten! And I'll eat you too! The pumpkin's alive! The pumpkin's alive! Psh! Damn fireball! Speed him out! What the? Speed him out right now! Randall, you're okay! Yeah? You are. You're really getting eaten by the pumpkin monster to save me? Well, yeah! Wow, uh, thanks, I guess. No problem. It's what friends do. Right, Brutus? Uh, right. <laughs> How are you so big but so stinky at the same time? Leave. Leave. Duck, you are it. You give up already. Down. I'm way too slow for this game. 
Good job. Look mm, different. Yeah, can place why? Though. Different? How so? I'm not quite sure what you mean. Nothing, maybe new outfit. Oh, that must be it. Guys, we are not even wearing clothes. However, since you mentioned it, you two look a tad different as well. I have absolutely no clue what you're talking about. Oops. Well. Whatever it is, I have a feeling it's temporary thing. And after a certain date, it'll suddenly all go back to normal. As though it never happened in the first place. That's a very specific feeling. What's his problem? I don't know. He's always grumpy and tired every morning. Me wonder why. Are you guys serious? <laughs> Your tone snore and fathomably loud. It's like a sleeping beside two running lawn mowers. Why don't you just sleep in a different room then? Mm -hmm. Get it? Cause you can't! Yes, I understand the joke. Cause we are literally attached to the same body. Truly hilarious. Yeah, Pixie's snoring keeps me awake too. She is a noisy sleeper? Well, no. But... Pixie! Uh, I hate this scene! I can't scratch the rush on my neck with the tongue. That's why they put it on you, genius. I won't heal if I keep scratching it. Well, I wouldn't have scratched if I knew I'd have to wear the awful sink. If you knew, I explicitly warned you this would happen. Well, I didn't know this is what you meant. What else could I possibly have meant when I say it? If you keep scratching it, they'll put a cone on your head. Wait, did you think I meant an ice cream cone? Why am I even asking? Of course, that's what you thought. And I will not apologize for making that assumption. You are an idiot. No, I'm an optimist. Those two labels are not mutually exclusive. On this historic day, Brutus and Dexter shall compete in a rigorous series of events to prove once and fall who is the true dumb dog. I ain't playing. This is dumb. Spoken with someone who knows they're gonna lose? Okay, I am playing. But it's still dumb. Tag of war! Brutus wins! Is that really you pulling your hardest back up? Race around the house! Dexter wins! Is this really you running your fastest, Grandpa? Taken by smell! 45 seconds! 28 seconds! Brutus wins! Are we sure he's completely blind in the tie? The Hugo Pool! Okay, I guess that's a draw! Swimming, Dexter! Nom launch, Brutus! High jump, Dexter! World history trivia, Brutus! So the total score is... Brutus, 15! Dexter? Also 15! It's a tie! Seriously? Oh, come on! Fellas, perhaps a tie is the best outcome. After all, is it so bad to conclude that maybe neither of you are better than the other? That you're both good at different things? Nah, that's lame. Woo! We need a tiebreaker. Eh, I need more cat friends. <laughs> <laughs>